Flemington, New Jersey at Diamond Nation for this third game here between the Lightning 14U Blue. We're expecting the In the Zone Knights 14U. Conditions are fairly bleak here today in Flemington. The wind is got some pretty high gusts. It has her 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts here. Temperatures in the low 40s. And uh, we've got some snow on and off here. So uh, not the most baseball-like weather here at Diamond Nation today. So here is the lineup for the Lightning today. Leading off will be Miles Brenner. He's playing shortstop. Batting second is Teddy Stevenson, the second baseman. Pitcher Denny Martin bats third, and the other half of the battery, Jacoby Porter, catching bats fourth. And fifth is Scotty Salkabason, DHing today. Hudson Iaquesa, sixth, playing first base. Mitchell Violet in left field, batting seventh. Lucas Legage, the third baseman, bats eighth. Finn Coburn in center field, batting ninth. And Devin Antonia in right field, batting 10th. Players are now on the field in the dugout, getting ready for the start of this game, which we are expecting to happen imminently. Of course, yesterday the Lightning split their first two with a very tough loss in game one. To the Renegades. Really? What's he waiting for? He's a young kid. Uh huh. So, news is that the opponent has yet to actually establish a lineup. of yesterday, a 7-5 loss in Game 1 was turned around in Game 2 with a 9-5 win over the GBG team as the bats got going yeah, for one. 9 hits in that game. <laughs> I threw out an extra one. This is as cold as I've been here in a while, and it's only 2 in the afternoon. Coaches are going to be meeting at home plate now for the pregame. Not a lot of ground rules here, of course, turf field, and certainly very uniform all the way around. You do notice a fair bit of 
repairs to the turf here. I'm not sure how long this facility has been in place, but around the bases and certainly at the mound, you've got some replacement turf, which creates a bit of a lip. Definitely saw a fair bit of slipping yesterday. A good pair of turf shoes is pretty important here. And the Knights are taking the field. We'll see how their pitcher looks right now. And now we've got some warm-up action on the mound. Pitcher is number 14. Welcome. That's all I can tell you about him so far. Then he's 14 and he's a righty. Does look like there is a team populated in Game Changer. No idea if it's correct. Yesterday it's proved not to be correct based on the lineup we were given, but if it is correct, it would be a player by the name of Goldberg. So lack of anything else, we will go with it. Looks like a 42 at first base by the name of Thomas. at shortstop, perhaps Brown. So we are set to go here in game three of this Battle at the Turf tournament. Miles Brenner stands in facing what we presume is Goldberg. And the first pitch is hit hard, lined into center field. And that gets through the center fielder. Brenner's going to be on the way to second. And he'll get in there without a throw, standing up. So nice start there for the Lightning as... Brainer will get a single and a one base error. Oh, 
Oh, and he's hit by a pitch there off the helmet. So I'll bring up the third batter, Denny Martin, pitcher today, with first two batters standing on first and second, or leading off of them anyway. First pitch he sees taken at the knees for a strike. To the third baseman, all he's got to do is step on third for an out, and that's all he's going to get. So now it'll be Jacoby Porter standing in. Jacoby, relax. Slow it down now. Off speed pitch misses. Ball and a strike. step off as Stevenson has a pretty sizable lead over at second base and the pitch down low taken for ball two two and one now to Porter one down Emmons now running for Martin the pitcher Again, gets it off the end of the bat. That's a foul ball. Count evens to two and two. That's bounced in the turf, and the runners will advance. So the count full now, three and two to Jacoby. I'll have a payoff pitch here. And out in front of that again. Fouls off to the side. Kobe, relax now, okay? Let it come to you. Swing and a miss, he goes down. He was out in front of it again. Two down now. Just couldn't find the timing on that one. Scotty said Cabasin here with two down and two on. First pitch he sees is inside for ball one. Taking it and this gets down. Well, that's gonna fall in and 
Emmons is going to scurry home and he'll be safe. Nobody covering the plate. So it's a two run error there for Scotty Soccer Basin. Wind just blowing that away, away, away from the pitcher. Tough play. I don't envy him there. But both the pitcher and the catcher converging. Nobody covering the home. And Emmons comes scurrying home. Heads up play there. So I'll bring up Hudson Iaquesa, the first baseman. He sees a strike, might have been on the outside corner. And this has popped up foul on a play on the left side. So it's quickly 0 and 2 to Hudson. So far here in the first, looking to add more. And that pitch is up high. No offer. Clearly hoping for a chase there on that pitch out of the strike zone. Nothing doing. So now we'll have the one and two pitch. See if he goes with anything off speed here. It's a fastball and Hudson drives it through the right side. Salka Basin is going to head for third. Nobody covering third. Ball gets away and now behind the plate. Finally fielded by the catcher. Shortstop was moving towards second and fell down. So I'm not sure if he would have made a play on that anyway. position. He fouls off the first pitch he sees. And that's hit into the air into left center field. That's in. That's going to be a single. Two runs will score. Here comes Hudson Iaquesa. And it's a two run single for Mitchell Violet. So catcher out now to talk to his pitcher Goldberg. on now his first pitch he sees he falls back to the screen old bird looking over violet with a modest lead at first and this is hit up in the air to right field looks like it might be in foul ground and it is a foul ball Right, uh, left fielder unable to get there. Wind definitely blowing that way. It's a little bit calmer right now. But still with big gusts. Definitely the kind of day that reminds you it is March. In not quite New England, but darn close. Ball down low, it's going to get by the catch of the backstop, and Mitchell Violes will head down to second base. Here we go, knock him in. 
So runner in scoring position now for the gauge. And this is grounded to the right side. Should be playable by the second baseman. He has it for the third out of the inning. Brown to Thomas. But the Lightning strike for four runs on three hits and a pair of errors. They lead four to nothing after one half. See if they got a lineup, maybe. <laughs> See if he's got a card or anything, maybe. He looks like he's got something in his hand that's going over. So lightning on the field now, warming up here in the bottom of the first inning. It's Denny Martin. Throwing to Jacoby Porter. Streams get archived, or just live, and they don't get stored. They, um, yeah, we use a, um, uh, a site where they are. It's what we're limited on is the number of people who can log in. Like uh, we have okay. as many viewers as we want, but all right. But I can like download and then maybe post it to YouTube later and stuff. Yeah, no, don't worry about that. That's what so. I was asking. I was supposed to take some video and didn't get it. So. Oh, and if we'll you want clips, are really easy to download. Are like they? if you just want clips, like just let me know. Like okay. what at bat and stuff, I can do that. No problem. All right, cool. Yeah. Thanks. What we're resorting to. Yeah. First pitch from Martin's a hard strike. So this is number nine battle. Quickly 0 and 2. Fouled back over this side. Looks like he took a little off of that and missed inside. So one and two now. There's a strikeout. I'll have it around. Fielder Desand. Holds up there on that pitch a little high. One and one. Swing and a miss on a nice fastball at the knees. Pitches outside. Count evens at two and two. Ball strike three on the outside corner. So two strikeouts here to start the first inning for Denny Martin.
It'll bring up the third batter, the catcher, Bowren. Just missed there, to just low. Bowren's doing the catching. Again, lineup was delivered about two minutes ago, so a little tough to catch up. Fastball high, 2 0. Oh. There's a strike on the inside corner. Ball, and, or two balls and one now. Swing and a miss. He was behind that one. Scoreboard showing 76 miles an hour on that fastball. And this is hit hard into the gap in right field. Fielded right at right field. Devin Antonia fields that on a hop. So that's a single for the catcher, Bowring. First, courtesy runner now, and his first pitch to our fourth. He's got it, and I think he got him. Oh, he's called save. Sproon beats it out. I think he had him by a half a step. fielded it cleanly certainly would have been an out and now Jacoby Porter will be out to talk to Denny Martin with runners on the corners now the first baseman standing in there goes the runner the throw is right to second it's Stevenson as they are going for the trick play and he's going to be out at the plate so they are going for the double steal there and Porter makes a quick throw to the shortstop Steven or to the second baseman Stevenson and they had Boren dead to rights between third and home great play there by the lightning So he will be that will be a 
two, four, two. Caught stealing. So the Knights squander a chance there. Some uh, unfortunate base running for them. They leave a runner on a hit and an error. Four to nothing lightning as we head to the second. It will be nine, ten, one batters. Finn Coburn, Devin Antonia, and Miles Brenner are expected here in the second inning. Okay, Finn Coburn on for his first at bat. The second inning leading off. Goldberg's first pitch to him. He's out in front of that, dropping a foul. Finn Coburn takes a strike on the outside corner. The 0 2 pitch. Chopped foul. Scoreboard showing 62. Flanking bats are used to maybe a little more velocity. Come on, Finn, time it up now. Speed pitch is going to be a called strike three. Look to be outside from here. He saw a big movement by the catcher bringing that from outside in. But that will be a leadoff K for Finn. That'll bring up Devin Antonia. First pitch he sees. Well, he's, he's going to live there all day if they're going to keep getting that call again. My viewpoint, hard to tell for sure, but you see a lot of movement by the catcher's glove framing that ball. Swing and a miss way out in front of that pitch. And this is pulled to the right side. Third baseman has it, no call. It is apparently a foul ball now. Didn't hear anything. Possible to tell from my vantage point. So we'll redo the 0-2. And, and the pitch is low and outside. Taken for a ball. Probably too low to get that outside call. So one and two now. Ducking under that pitch up high. Count evens to two and two. On deck is Miles Brenner, who singled sharply in his first at bat. One down here in the second. Lightning leading four to nothing. Swing and a miss from the heels on a pitch down low. I don't think it was an off speed. So first two batters strike out here to start second. I'll bring up the leadoff batter, Miles Brenner. And the first pitch he sees is grounded to the third baseman. Across the first. Nice pick by the first baseman. Seen him warming up. He's 
missed quite a few, but he got that one. Good play. So that will be a five to three put out to end the inning. No runs, no hits, none left. One, two, three inning there as the Lightning fail to reach base. As we head to the bottom of the second, it will be four to nothing Lightning. Fail to reach base. As we head to the bottom of the second, it will be four to nothing Lightning. So it'll be 42, which was, I believe, Thomas on the game changer, but the scorecard says Gonzalez, he fouls the first pitch he sees back out of play. It looked like it was something taken off there, 64. A little move downward movement, but it's low. Ball one. Last ball there. Overthrew it a little bit as Gonzalez ducks under. Pitch there misses just low. Full count now. Swing and a miss. He was late on that pitch. He elevated. I have a few times. Yeah, what was that one? Did you notice? 75. Pretty good for a 14. Bounces that one off the turf at 75 also. So one down now for Duddy. He sees their balls, one low and one up. There's another one up. Looks like he might have slipped there. So 3-0 to Duddy. There's a very odd looking mound. It's got rubber and turf. All the strength there. Duddy will have to pick up the bat. really likes that too much so we'll see if he gets a close call here well, that one is going to be low he'll take a walk there five pitch walk this will bring up the pitcher Goldberg with one down and one on here in the second 
goes to the backstop, wild pitch. Apparently it was an it was a balk prior to the pitch. If so, the ball should come back off the scoreboard. So Duddy now at second base. But the scoreboard still shows a 1-0 and count, but a ball should not count as a pitch. Pitches inside. One and oh. There's a called strike at the belt. Towards the outside, outer half. One and one. Fouled back out of play. Back into play off the screen. <laughs> Duddy leading off of second, being held by Stevenson, the second baseman. And this is grounded the first baseman by Aquessa. He picks it on the backhand and he will take court it for the second out of the inning. third base on the play. <laughs> so with two down, it's M. Pudia. Swing and a miss. That one was a 76. Gave a little bit of extra on that one. Pudia couldn't catch up to it. There's one at the knees. Nasty hey, pitch there. Martin's in the zone now. Let's see if he goes with anything off speed here. Or just keeps firing. This is popped up in the infield. Should be playable by the third baseman, soccer basin. He's got it. And that will end the inning. So the Knights um, failed to score there on the walk. They leave a man. It's still four to nothing Lightning as we head into now the top of the third inning. Lightning will send the two, three, four batters, Teddy Stevenson, Denny Martin, and Jacoby Porter to the plate here in the third. Stevenson, the second baseman, leading off here in the third inning, and Gold 
Goldberg's pitch gets him right in the back. Boy, that's two two at bats in a row. Hit on the first pitch. Stevenson does not like it. Umpire can see that he's not happy about that. I'm not sure if he said something, but. Talk to Goldberg. So it'll be one on and nobody out for the pitcher, Denny Martin. Martin ground into a fielder's choice in his first at bat. First pitch there is outside and off the glove of the catcher. That'll go to the backstop. Stevenson will take second. and nobody holding him on at second. Could widen out a little bit. And this is rounded off the screen in front of the Knights dugout. Kind of a late swing there. Denny. Ball three outside. 64 mile an hour. It's like early. It's not. <laughs> Man, this is hit hard, lined into left field. Go. See what they well do with done, Stevenson. Jenny. They're going to hold him at third. It'll be a single for Denny Martin. Nana wanted me to tell you, you did a beautiful job calling the games. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Nana. Hope you're watching. Hope oh, you're doing is, well. Sure. <laughs> we'll again have a courtesy runner for Denny Martin, the catcher. Carbono. And that'll bring up Jacoby Porter. Runners on the corners and no outs. He takes a strike and we're going to have a double steal here. And the ball gets away from the catcher. And Carbono's going to head to third base. So the hit batter is going to score. third and an 0 and 1 count for Jacoby. Ball outside, 1 and 1. Teresa, could you take one step backwards? Take one step oh, backwards? Oh, I <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry. Ball high. Two and one now to Jacoby. Swing and a miss. He was out in front of it. Two and two now. Outside, three and two, full count. Nobody 
be out. Ball four to Porter. So uh, Lightning will have runners on the corners again. Let's go, Scotty. Battle will be Scotty Soccer Basin. Soccer Basin had a two run. Jacoby will also have a courtesy runner, will be Liam Emmons running for him. Yes. He's the catcher. There goes Emmons before anything happens. Oh, yeah. It's better to kind of wait so we can have a chance at a double steal, but Emmons is in scoring position. After nobody said anything, everybody's just standing still. He takes off. Almost like he was a ghost. Very strange. looks like it had a little drop to it. It's fouled out of play. Scotty Sock. So once again we have runners on the corners with nobody out. Emmons on third, Sock Basin on first. The batter is Hudson Ayaquesa. Throw over to first, Sock Basin back. Hudson. Single to left field on his first at bat. Let's see if soccer basin's going. He is. No throw. <laughs> so he will take second on the defensive indifference. Two runners in scoring position for Hudson. And the pitch. He's backing out of the way of that one inside. It's a ball. 2 0. Oh. Goldberg with a long look in this time. Now he's set. And the pitch. There's a strike down the middle, taken all the way. Goldberg just hit pitch number 50, as we have only through two full innings now. Again, no outs here in the third. And there's a fastball outside, so it's three and one to Hudson. So he'll look for something he likes here. from Goldberg. That's going to be ball four down low. That'll load the bases. Let's go, Mitch. And we'll have a visit now from the Knights coach to Goldberg. The entire infield is going to join him there on the mound. Starting to shiver pretty badly, <laughs> must admit. Right. Those of you uh, watching at home, I'm sure you would have liked to have been here, but on the plus side, hopefully you're 
warm and cozy wherever you are here on this very chilly and windy Sunday afternoon in Flemington, New Jersey. And we are set now. Goldberg will stay in to face Mitchell Violet and Violet singling in his first event. Emmons was halfway down the line. He scurries back without a throw. Infield in, hoping to cut down a run at the plate. And there's pitch down low and in. So it's Iaquessa on first. Soccer Basin on second, Emmons on third. Pitch misses low and in again. Goldberg has nowhere to put Violet. Already trailing six to nothing. Can't afford to allow much more. There's a called strike. Pitcher's pitch there, down low. That's going to be a ball. Very close, very long look at it by the umpire. It's very, very close to there. Of course, Goldberg shaking his head. He wanted that one. So it'll be a full count now to Mitchell Violet. And then a score there on the bases loaded walk. And Liam Emmons crossing the plate. So it'll be an RBI walk for Mitchell Violet. Better now will be Lucas Legage, the third baseman. Appears he might be sharing time in the field with Scotty Soccer Basin. First pitch he sees is a ball high. Hard to tell if that had a little movement or if it's just relatively slow, clocked at 61 miles an hour. Still nobody out, seven to nothing lightning lead here in the third. There's a strike down the middle, taken all the way by Legage. Sort of shakes his head, maybe he thought it was outside. Looked pretty good from here. So it'll be a one and one count now. That pitch is outside. Hard to disguise that fact as the catcher goes to his knees, to his left. And the two and one pitch from Goldberg. This is popped up, should get out of play behind. And that's in the net. Got an interesting collection system there that should go right through that little sleeve. Let's see if it does. Nope, it stays up there in the net. I don't know if you can make that out. And a redo to the pitch. That one's bounced off of the turf. So now it is another full count. Bases still loaded. It's Soccer Basin on third, Iaquessa on second, and Violet on first. Payoff pitch now to the gauge. And he hits it off the end of the bat to the third baseman. He's going to go to third for one. That's all he's going to be able to get. So it'll be a fielder's choice. For Lucas Legage. Now we'll have runners on first and second. As Finn Coburn steps in. First at bat, first pitch he sees here in his second is the ball down low. And the pitch is outside. It's going to go to the backstop. Runners will advance. So two 
two runners in scoring position now for Coburn. Goldberg now up to 66 pitches. And the 67th is another pitcher's pitch on the outside corner. Two and one now to Finn. And he thinks about it, but it's up high. Three and one now. First base is open. The 10 batter, Devin Antonia, waits on deck, so we'll see what happens here. Wow, Finn goes jumping back. That's a called strike. Difficult decision to either go behind home or the side, but. At least this way, there's no net in our view. Swing and a miss. Swung from his heel out in front of that one. Two down. So two down now. That'll bring up Devin Antonia. First pitch he sees is low and outside for ball one. Devin struck out swinging in his first at bat. That's going to be low. 2 0. Oh. Scoreboard showed 99 miles on that one. Pretty sure that's inaccurate. 99. Oh boy, it must be a cold day in March to call that a strike. <laughs> Catcher's glove moves so much movement on that. Two balls and a strike now. That one's upstairs, three and one. Goldberg certainly not getting ahead in too many counts here. Almost every batter to a full count. And that's going to be another walk. Eight to nothing game here in the third. is going to be number nine. Number nine, Michael Battle. A little warm now as Goldberg is unable to make it out of the third inning. So he goes two and two thirds, throwing 75 pitches, 40 of those for strikes. He allowed five hits, eight runs coming across, only four earned. Of course, he had four walks against four strikeouts and he hit, uh, well, I would say two batters, but the same batter twice. He's responsible for all of the runners, so the line could change. Battle tries to battle out of this inning. He is clocking in the very low 50s. Not sure if he's sort of pressing.
just in the service here or hasn't reached perhaps top form yet but lightning batters will definitely have to wait on a 50 mile an hour fastball it'll be miles brenner singled sharply in his last at bat first pitch he sees is off the end of the bat as he's way out in front of it Hit hard. That goes to the shortstop. See if he's going to play. He's just going to hold it. So that will be a sing infield single for Miles Brenner. So it's 9 0 now. I'll bring up Teddy Stevenson. Stevenson is hit by a pitch twice in his first two at bats today. And this one's up in the air behind second base. Should be, oh, that's gonna fall in as second base from the shortstop converge. Now throw home as Legage will come in and Brenner will head to third. Bit of a crazy play there. Apologies to those of you rejoining us. We did have a network drop there. It's a little warmer under the. What's the score? Are you getting this? It's 9 0. So it is the 11 0 Lightning game. Denny Martin hitting. That's going to be grounded up the middle and into center field. One run's going to score. They're going to send Teddy Stevenson. It'll be a two run single for Denny Martin. Bring up Jacoby Porter. First pitch he sees is bouncing the turf into the backstop. And Martin will head down to second. Hit hard. That's going to be in the gap into left center field. That's going to go to the wall. Porter's headed on his way to second. Martin rounding third. He's going to score. Porter's going to go for three as that goes all the way to the wall. And there'll be no throw. It'll be a stand up triple for Jacoby Porter. He's having a monster weekend. Oh, we got a balk there. So Porter will come home. It's uh, getting a little crazy now, to be honest. It's now 15 to nothing. There's got to be a run rule, right? Yeah, I'm sure we're at it now. Yeah. This, this could be... There's a called strike. Lined at the shortstop tram, across the first, bounced, and can't be handled, so soccer base will reach on the error.
First pitch to Hudson Iaquesta is a strike. Let's go, Hudson. There's a ground ball to the second baseman. Soccer baseman jumps over it on to first, and that will retire the side. So four to three put out. Laning strike for 11 runs on five hits, three errors. They now lead 15 to nothing. In a very lopsided game here after the third inning, after the top of the third. And we will head uh, to the bottom of the third. Looks like we have at least one move in the field as the lightning head out onto the field. center field. Denny Martin going back out for his third inning work. So it'll be the nine batter, McCauley. He takes a pitcher's pitch, called strike at the knees. That one read 17 miles an hour, so I'm starting to distrust this radar gun. 73 there, another called strike. Quickly in the hole, 0-2. Oh wow, he's going to live there all day. Three pitches and he is out on strikes. Ball on the first pitch he sees. Too, as he swings through that one. And that fastball is outside, goes off the glove of Porter to the backstop. Two and two. So that'll be
be another strikeout as the pitch was up high, elevated him, just couldn't catch up to that fastball. Realized a little too late, it was going to be too high. That's hit sharply at the shortstop Brenner. He knocks it down, recovers, and across to Iaquesa for the out. So one, two, three inning for Lightning. Oh, well. That will be the ball game. It's apparently more than 14 ahead after three is enough. And as much as I want to play ball, I think I think that's appropriate here. This just was not a not a good match. Knights were a decent team, but they went 0-3 in this tournament this weekend. Just uh, not not exactly uh, at our level. And that's that's okay. But they do drop this one. It's the Shutout and strikes at five against one walk. Loser will be Goldberg for the Knights. So Lightning strike four, 15 runs on eight hits. Miles Brenner with a pair of hits, a pair of singles. Martin with a pair of singles. And we had four players with uh, at least one, exactly one hit. Jacoby Porter with a triple. And Scotty Sockface and Hudson Ayacuesa and Mitchell Hardman with singles. Violet was the team leader in RBIs with three, followed by Martin with two. And Brenner, Porter, Sockface, and Ayla Cage with one piece. So we will await the results. In fact, we might just um, head over to the other game going on and get some footage there, perhaps. And uh, we'll await the results of that. Again, it's a bit of a long shot. And Lightning need the Renegades to drop that game and get some favorable tie-breaking results. The latest update is that the GBG team that we need to win is down 10 to 4 on the other field. So we, uh, we may resume over there in a minute, but if not, uh, thanks again for watching this weekend. I look forward to a full season of bringing you Lightning 14 U Blue Baseball here on the what I'm calling Porter Streaming Network. Thanks again for watching. So long for now. Take care.